guys, it's Paul. It's week eight. It's the final week, and we follow the directors. So Cut. Does that look anything no, like me? not at all. What are you talking about? If I was wearing red pants right now, we couldn't tell the difference between us. Still doesn't make you Paul. First of all, they're shorts. Whatever. Whatever. Okay. We are perfect. No. It's week eight, and we're following the directors, and you can tell that it's a lot harder than you would think. So here's week eight. Enjoy. She's still not Paul. She's not me. I think this is like one of the last scenes. Let it go. Baby, you came back. You ready for us to follow you all all around this week? No. Nope. No. Nope. You psyched about it? Tonight? Just start over. <laughs> no criticism. <laughs> Just start over. <laughs> so we're doing a sweet kind of like silhouetted backlit shot. Not a lot of lighting necessary because the building did it all for us. Um, super quick, and it's gonna be a blast. <laughs> oh, what kind of emotion do you guys want Corey to portray right now? Corey's got this thing that we all call the Corey face. This is his face that he makes. Makes him look like a total. So we just we just tell him to be himself and uh, plays the role pretty pretty accurately. <laughs> Action! What's the best like attire for directors? The best attire for directors is usually a black shirt. It can be a tank top, but it's usually a black t-shirt and a black pair of shorts. Dude, you got both those on. What can I say? I'm a great director. Right there. I'm on like 6400. The crossover combo. We're shooting a scene. We're shooting several scenes. All right. Some exactly. scenes where some characters are in some dark, scary places. Scary places. He said it. This is good. Great production. Thank you so much for buying our, our DVD. We need a lot. She goes, what? What? Oh, Stop. My detective skills were correct. That's amazing, buddy. Face clothes. <laughs> so, this is a scene from the point of view of some binoculars. So we're shooting with a really long lens, and uh, we're kept capturing our brave heroes walking. You're ready for tomorrow. Yeah. Today we're shooting several <laughs> scenes outside, uh, all three of which involving a car. We got one shot with a car pulling in, two, and two scenes of the car just sitting there. What is this? How do I turn it off? The future, baby! <laughs> turn it off, you hit the push button, you don't need your foot on the brake. Oh. Hey! You, you tried to kill me. <laughs> Almost stacked. The last week of shooting has definitely been emotional. It's kind of like, it doesn't feel like anything's coming to a close, but you know that it's just kind of like looming off in the distance. I constantly think to myself, what am I gonna think about? What am I gonna preoccupy my time with in like the upcoming weeks? Like, This is really surreal. Um, I'm pretty tired right now, so I, I kind of think that I'm in a dream. Um, but it feels good, but also a little sad but mostly cool. Some of the problems that we're having 
everything today. Well, well, every day, really. Uh, um, sound is always an issue. I mean, it's not like we're a big budget film in Hollywood and we can shut down streets, shut down trains and stuff. So there's always something that's going on. Today we've got trains, dogs, random people in the neighborhood coming out of their houses and yelling. Um, just every day there's a new kind of sound issue. The way we prevent it and avoid it is just by being persistent and waiting it out. Uh, there's nothing really we can do. We can't tell people to stop living their lives and doing their jobs. I mean, they're getting paid to drive their noisy trucks down the street. We're just a bunch of kids, so. So, for the last time, let's go make a movie. What is the trouble? So, basically, this scene probably should have taken place over three separate days because it's a lot of content, and mm -hmm. we basically have six hours to do three days worth of stuff. So, we're gonna see what happens. But everything will be fine, <laughs> just a lot of trouble. Keegan, how many more shots do we have? A million. So cliche, but it's so bittersweet because, you know, I made great friends, I had great experiences, it's been so much fun this entire time, but I'm so ready for it to be over because I'm so tired. I'm ready to just sleep, but it makes me kind of sad. But uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm ready to move on to the next to the next step to see how, how it uh, progresses, and I can't wait to see the finished product. You need to sort of create a story out of what you're given. Why are they walking? Where are they walking? What is their motivation? You kind of have to be motivated to lead and want everyone else to do the best that they can do. You have to be able to manage a lot of different things. You have to know what's going on with audio, what's going on with lighting, what's going on with the camera. And that's just the technical stuff. You also have to worry about the story, you know, context, props, costumes, what fits. You just kind of have to have an overall knowledge of what the movie's going to look like. The director always has to be on, because if you're not motivated, your crew is not going to be motivated. Coming to you last scene of the entire movie, it's day five. live off the pressure. I strive to be the best that I can be. The director is sort of the captain of the ship. There it is. Mm, I see it. Yeah. Someone say second sticks in the microphone, please. Stories end up colliding mm -hmm. for the first time. Dave, are you good? That's right. right here and they won't be able to... It's all mental. He's like, this is the worst speech. I'm <laughs> <laughs> pointing fingers. <laughs> Keegan, did you forget I'm back here? <laughs> action! Action!
I can say you met me at a very strange time in my life. My name is Buddy Candela. Hi, my name is Keegan Larwin, and I'm, I'm one of the two directors, directors of Unlucky. Everyone, and especially Keegan, I mean, I can't even imagine doing this movie with someone other than him. I mean, he's one of my best friends, and I couldn't imagine doing this without him. I just can't believe it's over. There's just so many good memories, and they're all gone now. They're all, it's all over. It's just, I miss it so much already. You know? And it's just, I just miss it so much. It's just very sad. What are you doing? What? What are you doing? I'm going over all the weeks because it's over now. Kayla, it's over. And I'm very sad. Is, is that is that a problem? Yes. You're always crying. Dude, grow up. Come on, collect yourself. We gotta leave the last week with a bag. Let's go. Can't do it without you, Meg. Let's do it. Let's go, guys. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>